All right, guys, here we are in a bunker. A lot of people have a phobia about this shot, and there's no need to, but there are certain things you have to do. Number one, a lot of amateurs don't even own a sand wedge, so go to the store and buy a sand wedge. That's number one. It really helps you do a lot of the work that you're trying to do in the bunker. Number two, it's the one shot in golf that you don't need to hit the ball first. You're actually, it's a miss hit that works, because what you're trying to do is enter the sand about this far, two or three inches behind the ball, and two or three inches in front of the ball, you're trying to get a sliver of sand that's taken out and so the ball can ride on that cushion of sand. Okay, so that's what my club wants to do. Now how do I set up my feet? I want to set up in about a 30, 35 degree angle to the target, which is the pin obviously. And here I am, I'm going to dig in. Now you can see the reason I opened up is that if I swing along my body line, the club automatically goes on an outside path, you can see from behind and now I can enter the sand from the outside with the open club face and follow through. Do not get in the sand and just plant it. That doesn't work. All I'm going to do is picture where I want to land it. I open up 30 degrees on my target. I picture where I want to enter the sand with an open club face. Now I just follow my natural body line because I'm already open. The club goes outside, slides underneath, rolls right on up to the hole. 